Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we are going to be breaking down the brand new MT special offers that just dropped here in NBA 2K24 by team. Before we hop out of the video, if you haven't already, make sure, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 30,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Tons of consistent daily my team content. I would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Try to hit the 30K mark. I don't honestly know when by, but in the near future. So would really, again, appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it and let's discuss. So starting off with um, the new player who is actually the new MT Bible player. I'm sorry, I'm on the wrong account right now. But anyways, is Ga Dark Matter Ricky Davis as well as Galaxy Opal Sean Marion are the two Bible players for this week. I am currently not on my account. I apologize. I'm about to use Anthony's account to record a Doug Christie gameplay. So that's why I'm on his account. But point being, Ricky Davis, actually a really, really good card in um, terms of it being a very, very desirable Dark Matter. Now, Sean, Sean Marion, on the other hand, this card was super desirable two months ago. At this point, he's obviously not, and I think that's okay. He's just not. He's still a good card, but at this point, I don't think with his way his release is a little ugly, even though it is actually pretty fast. I mean, admittedly, he's got good six. He does everything pretty well. Like, this is a good card. still usable, but I don't think he's elite at this point. And I think also there's a lot of good, like, free small forwards and um, earnable small forwards and things of that nature to where there's really no point for a Sean Marion. Like, I just, I mean, the unlimited option pack this season gives you an opportunity for a Dark Matter, John Isaac, or Luol Deng. Best option there those are small forwards and then Kyle Kuzma came out a couple days ago and he's the best free small forward in the game by a mile like in general I just don't see a need for a Sean Marion now Ricky Davis I will say if you have Glenn Rice and then maybe one or two more of the best gambling shooting guards whether maybe maybe you got Paul George and you got lucky you got him from the thing a couple days ago or whatever the case really may be because I think uh I don't know it's just like something like this is challenging because it's not simple, you know what I mean? Um, because it just depends on what your team, team looks like. Because for some people, this, this this card is a huge, huge W and like a must buy. There's somebody like me. I have I got luck. I've gotten lucky with my RNG to a certain extent because I haven't spent money on the game. But I mean, adding guys like um, Dr. J and Ron Artest in the past few weeks, I just have no, no realistic need for. I don't know. I just have no realistic need for Ricky Davis. But for a lot of people, I think this is a really, really good special offer because he is an elite level card at a level that a guy like, I don't know, like, I, I just I just think a guy like last, last week we got Chris Bosh just not on that same level. You know what I mean? That's my honest thought. And so it just puts, I don't know. It, it makes it interesting. These special offers would be a lot better to me, honestly. I feel like I'd be a lot less torn and a lot more excited about it if I could actually just get the cards that I want on a consistent basis in general because right now you really can't do that. And obviously that's that's annoying. But um, I don't know. If I could get the cards that I wanted to on a consistent basis, I would have a lot less issue with special offers, quote-unquote, in this game because – these special offers right now, I mean, as much as, like, I do, I do think Ricky Davis is a good player, 199,000 MT for him for an unsellable version of a Dark Matter Ricky Davis when if you were to pull Ricky Davis and then sell him, he's going to sell, by the way, for less than, I don't even know what he's going to sell for right now, but my guess is 70,000 MT or so. I really have no idea what the quick sell value of it is, but it's not very much. And I know for a fact, Sean Marion's resale value is going to be even less. That's just the way that this game works this year. And I think, I don't know, it's like... It's just frustrating because, like, I should have been able to buy Ricky Davis months ago. So it's hard for me to be super excited about having the opportunity, yes, to get this Ricky Davis card. But for, number one, a price that I think is too high. And number two, a card that is unsellable anyway. So I don't get any sort of value out of him outside of being able to use him right now, which I guess, I don't know. I just have a problem that this is the best. Like, because when the... Like, this is the best offer they've done, right, of MT special offers. But it's the best of the worst because this isn't the way that things should be in the first place. And at the end of the day, that's the main complaint that I would say that I have is that this isn't how it should be in the first, first place. And therefore, I think my frustration is a lot more... I think that's that's where my frustration stems from in the first place. I think that's why it's hard for me to get excited about good special offers because it, it, this is the way that it should have been all along. Like, I should have been able to buy Ricky Davis with MT, even if it was a higher MT price, price than this. Whatever they wanted to put the MT price by, but I should have been able to buy the card and unfortunately have not been able to. So, like, 
I don't know. At the end of the day, it, it kind of is what it is. I'm not super mad, and I actually do think, like, if you need a shooting guard, obviously I don't. But if you are somebody who is in need of a shooting guard, I have absolutely zero issues whatsoever with you buying Ricky Davis. It's with empty, so if you have the empty saved up and earned, like, he's a very, very good card who is 6'7 with a lot of badge completeness, a really good release, Jamal Murray behind the back, great sigs. Like, he's got pretty close to perfect sigs, super good stats and badges. Like, I think Ricky Davis is definitely one of the better shooting guards in all of my team right now, gambling or not. Like, I think he's a really good card. So if you can get him for 199,000 MT and you need a shooting guard, I certainly don't see any problem whatsoever with doing so. I don't know. I just at the end of the day, I would not buy Sean Marion. I will say that. That is my one recommendation for him. I'd probably stay away from him. I just think, obviously, at this point, with a guy like Kuzma is free as well as other free cards, that's probably your, your realistically better value. Um, but I don't know. At the end of the day, it's just my team. And, like, this game continues to shoot themselves in the foot in so many ways that it makes it very hard to enjoy the small wins and the small successes. But, again, that's just that's just how it's going to be, unfortunately, for the time being. And, I, and I'm okay with that. I think he, as long as you can accept that, there are things you can enjoy about the game. And there are things they have done well. That's the thing. Recently, there are things that I actually do believe that they have done a pretty consistent job of doing well at. Like, for example, I, I think the, the Bill Walton code that they are dropped and card that they dropped was actually a pretty good job and a pretty good way to honor him um like i think i think there's a variety of things that 2k has actually done pretty well as of late and so um i don't know i, I give them a little bit of credit for that i just think uh, i don't know like there's a they, they got to keep dropping good locker codes there's there's just got to be more to do and more to to care about as a community and unfortunately there's just not i think people's give a damn with 2k is really really low people just don't have any sort of motivation to play the game they're not interested in anything the game does there's just not enough good to overcome the really really bad which is the gambling and so, so even when they do drop good which kuzma for free was good bill walton that code was good um, the lock code they dropped in the playoffs was also good it was very good value there like i think despite the the good the bad with all this gambling and the way that things work right now is just it just out outweighs the bad by by far right now unfortunately and i i don't know at the end of the day that kind of is what it is and as long as you can accept that there are ways like i said to have fun with this game at times but sometimes it is just awful and like like what are you gonna do i guess i don't know it is what it is at the end of the day that's that's my team for you right so um i think that is where we are going to call today's video though just because i don't really have much else to say like if you want to buy ricky davis he's he's probably the best empty special offer they've dropped so far but i just again it's like i like i've said this whole video i feel like i'm just repeating myself but it's hard to be get excited about this game and, and get excited about the things and the decisions that they're doing right now just because of all the the main problems like we're gonna load up the my team playbook here in what a couple hours and it's gonna be another big set of gambling and a goat goat set and stuff and it's just all a bunch of stuff that you can really only access unless you spend a bunch of money or grind the game like non-stop and like unfortunately that's just kind of lame that this is the way this game is right now but it is what it is and you know what that is going to do it for today's video fingers crossed at least we get a good motor ward fingers crossed for that in the playbook that's something we'll see and find out about in just a little bit but hope y'all did enjoy the video if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon i appreciate y'all peace